Sometimes God is only interested in empowering you, not those around you. Have you ever considered that? Society tells you to share and to be generous because society wants to exploit you. Scripture tells us that we ought to share and be generous to glorify the Heavenly Father. So both must us to be generous, but only the Heavenly Father has the right to reason. The other just wants to exploit. That's why you can't serve two monsters, you can't serve two lords. You're either exploited by the world, or you overcome the world by serving Christ. And there are times Christ just wants to empower you. You hear me? You. Not your mommy, not your daddy, not your relatives, not your friends, not the people around you. You. That sounds quite selfish, Rashid. You would say, well, it's not selfish. The world around you is not narcissistic and selfish. The world around you wants you to be prosperous so they can exploit you and leech up off of you. But many will pretend to walk with you just so that they have others to you to get things from you. And God says it all. Some of you, you're generous with your prayers and that's a good thing, but God wants you now to turn the focus on you a little bit. God wants you to invest in you. God wants you to use his anointing to invest in you. Why? Because the world around you, they just want relief. So if you keep investing in them, they're only going to drain you like drug addicts and will never take responsibility for any improvement. And many are faking as if they're different. And they're quite convincing in their faking. And you're a human being. It can happen that you were tricked by people that, that present themselves as something they're completely not. Don't blame yourself. You were fooled. But here's the thing. Nobody can fool God. Nobody. God knows who people are. Some of you have folks around you that are talking the talk. But God sees clearly when you have the material and financial prosperity and you begin to give to them for investment, they will take it, they will waste it, and then they will come angry at you. They will blame you. And they will plan to get with other people to rob you and to kill you. So they don't have to think about you anymore. You have folks like that. And you also have folks that are so desperate for validation and acceptance by society that they will tolerate bad stuff happening to you just so that they don't offend others. They are so addicted to the approval of society that they will sacrifice your well-being just as society is pleased with them. And at the same time, they will expect you to validate them also. You have such griefs. Look, I know that there are good-minded people out there, of course. But the rule is, the world wants to exploit you. The world doesn't give a damn about you. I don't care if you can't stand the language I'm using. I'm saying as is, the world doesn't give a damn about you. No! They'll pretend and fake it so that they can get stuff from you. But they're not really concerned with you. It's all about them getting their relief. So God wants you to invest in you. That's not selfish. That's being practical. If you are the head of a fire, fire fighter department, or so you are, you're the head of the department where you have firefighters, and they need to go out to quench fires where people are in need, who are you going to invest in? Are you going to invest in survivors, or are you going to invest in your crew? You will invest in your crew, because it's your crew that needs to be well equipped to go out there to quench fires. And so the safety and well-being of your crew is number one on your priority list. Yes, you consider the survivors of the disasters, but who got the survivors out of trouble? Your crew, right? So your crew needs to be taken care of. So you expect every crew member of yours to invest in themselves. Ain't that right? If you're the head of a hospital and you have nurses and doctors, it's the nurses and doctors that need to help the people that are sick. Yes, you consider the relatives of the sick people and sick people themselves, but 
the key people are the nurse and the doctors. You make sure they get paid and you make sure that they are right. When it comes to believers, God wants you to be alright. God wants you to advance. So God wants you to invest in you. And those other people around you, they will see it and they'll either be inspired and they'll invest in themselves also. And sooner or later they'll realize, okay, we need Christ and they'll, they'll submit to Christ. Or they will harden themselves and take offense and turn on you. Whatever they choose, that's not you. That's them. Of course, you can be generous to others once in a while, but make sure you invest in you, because the world will not do it. The world is not even investing in itself. So if they don't even think enough of themselves to invest in themselves, how do you think they're going to invest in you? They won't. They don't even love themselves, yet they won't go to love you? Are you kidding me? Sometimes God wants you to focus more on you. Because God wants to continue with you. Think about Abraham. Abraham was thinking about his relatives, which was generous. That's a good quality of Abraham. God was not against that. But God saw that those relatives of Abraham were in idolatry and he had no intention of leaving idolatry. Abraham was. So that's why God was interested in moving with Abraham, not Abraham's household. That's why Abraham had to leave his household because God was into moving with Abraham, not Abraham's environment. And that's the place where many of you are. You're still thinking a lot of your environment, which is natural as a human being, but God wants you to focus on you for a moment. So, don't fight what God is telling you to do. Be at peace.